Yeah, so my name is Lajne, and I basically work at the intersection of performance and um, technology. Um, so basically, um, what I've been working on now is um, how can we um, preserve black movement in digital spaces. So basically what I'm interested in is, um, basically what I'm trying to do is create a space for um, black movers, black performance artists, um, to really um, not only be able to um, capture their movements, but to um, basically talk about who they are um, and what their histories are. So a little bit about me first. Um, so I grew up figure skating um, in New Jersey, and basically um, it was very, it was a very interesting experience. Um, I really I love figure skating, um, but uh, figure skating isn't a predominantly, well clearly it's not a predominantly black sport, um, it's a predominantly white sport, so um, I did uh, basically take with me some, um, like there were some challenges um, growing up skating, um, and uh, basically, uh, but also there were really great things that came with it as well. Um, so after uh, my skating career, um, I ended up uh, going to school um, at NYU Tandon um, in their integrated digital media program. Um, and basically, um, I was able to look at performance in a different way. Here are some projects that I um, worked on. So this is the first one that was my senior project. And basically, it was a performance um, using heart rate um, to basically uh, generate uh, fractal images um, and also change sound and um, fabric motors. Um, and then I got into motion capture um, while I was there too. So basically this is a project um, about sacred geometry and the four elements. Um, so basically it's all in real time and um, audience members are able to um, basically change each element um, using the controllers um, and also the, um, sen the sensors um, within the controllers are able to send it to the dancers too. So it's sort of like improv. Um, um, with the elements. And then um, the last one is a virtual reality project. Um, and this one is all about um, going through the stages of inner healing. Um, but yeah, so I ended up doing all of these projects. Um, but then after school, I realized that um, I didn't just want to, um, I guess, um, work on digital media projects. I really wanted to um, figure out how I could uh, get back into um, performance. So. I um, ended up working for figure skating in Harlem, and um, basically uh, figure skating in Harlem is an after-school program um, for girls um, basically K through 12, and basically um, each year they have an end of the year ice show, and so the, this particular year um, we did black ice, and basically what we did is um, each group um, had a different um, genre of black dance, and they basically all were able to incorporate that into their movements. Um, and what I've learned um, from this experience is that um, when you give um, girls of color like um, familiar um, music and familiar dance steps, um, you're really able to see them come to life on the ice. Um, and they really were able to um, basically like transform the space. Um, so yeah, so yeah, that's those are my girls over there. They did they skated to tribal. It was really cute. Um, that's me, stressing them out. <laughs> and uh, yeah, <laughs> um, but then also um, uh, while I was there, I was able to also teach their um, STEAM program. Um, what I was really passionate about was how we could um, really integrate technology um, into their performance um, as well. So basically. Um, this is all, all of the high school students. So basically all the high school students, um, they learned how to integrate technology into their um, skating outfits. So um, for the finale, um, the, whole, the whole idea of the piece was um, Afrofuturism. So it was like, how could you like, you know, integrate technology and move in the future? So um, it started out with a solo piece and um, basically her dress lights up. Um, and then all of the students basically like um, had some sort of like um, lights added onto their um, projects. So yeah, so you see like some of the reactive um, boot covers. Um, for this project, they used uh, the BBC Microbit, which is a, a, a small uh, microcontroller. Um, and it's really um, 
easy to integrate into, um, I guess, STEAM projects for high school students um, because you can do a, a, like block coding. Um, so yeah, that was really cool. So um, after I ended up doing this project, I realized that um, what I'm really passionate about is um, really integrating, um, really, I guess, defining how I could mix these two things together all the time. Um, and so um, I was wondering if it was possible, uh, well, what I learned from figure skating uh, in Harlem, um, if it's possible to redefine and repurpose spaces that aren't um, necessarily built for me. Um, and so this brings me to Catherine Dunham, who um, is basically one of the pioneers of modern dance, um, but she's also, um, an anthropologist and basically what she did um, is she went throughout um, the West Indies and she began to basically document black dance. So she would go and she would um, take video and also write about black movement um, in different black cultures. Um, and so for me, um, what I'm passionate about doing is trying to bring that into the virtual space. So um, that brings me to my project that I'm working on. Um, it's the Black Movement Project. It's an online database of black motion capture data and um, black character-based models. And uh, basically, it's a tool um, for performers, artists, and activists. Um, but it's also, um, more than that, it's a space of research for how and why we move. Um, and lastly, it's an archive of black existence. So um, really, what I'm trying to do is build a space for us and also um, make sure that it's um, accurate um, and also create a space where we're honored and where um, we're celebrated. So um, it also incorporates um, a narrative component. So um, every performer that uh, contributes to the library, uh, basically um, has a performance um, that they do. So essentially um, what I'm doing is I work with performance artists and then I'm not only just tracking their motion capture data and creating characters for them, I'm also interviewing them and learning about their motion capture practice oh, well, their movement practice, and then um, I'm integrating those interviews into their performances. So um, when you go to a performance, you'll see visuals, um, and you'll also see, you'll also hear about their stories weave throughout the music. So these are the two first, the first two performers that I've worked with, um, Ronaldo Maurice and Nala Duma, and basically um, they, um, I. This is actually during my residency that I had previously uh, at Barbarian Group, and basically they're wearing um, motion capture suits, and um, these are the perception neuron um, suits, and basically I can g get their data over Wi-Fi and uh, generate different um, uh, visuals um, in real time too. So I can, um, for the visuals I'm using Unreal for now. Um, so yeah, so this is a Nala, and then, this is Ronaldo. Um, and then last, this is a video of the first performance. So you can sort of see like the characters are sort of weaved in um, the visuals. So yeah, I'm just working to expand this and um, see where it takes me. So thanks. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you.